When the Piasecki H-16 made its first flight on October 23, 1953, it was the largest helicopter in the world. Its rotor diameter was 82 feet, almost twice that of the H-21 workhorse. Powering this monster was a design challenge. It was originally with two piston engines, one at each end of the aircraft, in their own engine rooms. We, uh, it was uh, quite interesting how everybody was uh, enhanced by the fact that here was a helicopter that had an engine room. The huge overlapping rotors were made of aluminum skin with a honeycomb composite filling. The H-16's fuselage had the capacity of a four-engined airliner and could lift up to 14,000 pounds. We later on in the second model went to turbines and we had two turbines uh, driving the machine. It was very successful. It had 82-foot diameter rotors. But the RPM was so slow that any vibratory m uh, motion from the rotors, which were three-bladed, would come in almost as a loping action. And uh, uh, you could actually almost see the rotor blades turning. You could actually watch the blade as it turned around. The turbine engines chosen for the YH-16A were Allison T-38 turboshafts, each delivering 1,800 horsepower. The helicopter in this turbine-powered form first flew in 1955. In this form, the YH-16A was known as the Turbo Transporter. In 1955, Frank Piasecki left the company. It was renamed Vertol. Piasecki formed a new company, the Piasecki Aircraft Corporation. In early 1956, the YH-16A set an unofficial world speed record of 166 miles an hour. But shortly after, a test equipment failure caused it to crash, and hopes for a promising future were destroyed.